great game. Been a great game. Really has been a great game here. Olympics will be disappointed, but for Diana Stars, this could, could be the spark of something special for the last few games in the season. They go up on seventh on the log with 36 points. An emphatic win over the title chasers. Like you already said, good news for Asante Kotoko because they are now four points off the pack from the team that are following them on the league log. Astonishing. Just astonishing. It's over. Great Olympics have lost at the Accra Stadium. Full time score. Great Olympics 2. Ediana Stars 3. So two teams coming into this game from similar fortunes. Olympics winning in Sogako Pei. Diana winning in Doma and Awaku with this effort going against the woodwork. Yeah, it was an astonishing free kick. It was a stunning one. Just so unlucky to have got the woodwork like he did. So look at the first goal that's caught by Maxo Abe. He was relentless. He kept going. And goalkeeper Masaudu certainly... He could have done better. He should have done better because it was a hopeful effort from Maxwell Abbey with no real conviction there. Took an awkward bounce right in front of the goalkeeper. But I thought with a lack of pace and power in the shot, he should have just tipped it around the goalpost. But once the ball took the bounce and he had committed himself already, he didn't get a needed touch that could tip the ball around the goalpost. But it was credit to uh, Olympics in the way they recycled the possession there. Look at Maxwell Abby drop it in to collect the ball. He seems to have lost his here in a bit, but once it dropped to him, just had a pop at it and take a look at the awkward bounce. He, he used up. Darlington as a decoy, yeah. and the defenders were caught ball watching. So Olympics led at half time, but 1 0. And back from recess, they didn't look like the Olympics that ended the first, but they did get a second as Ashikwe made this beautiful run only for Darlington to squander from this space. He should have made it two from this he should position. Have. He should have. So Mudasiru off the bench makes it two. Second week running, stepping off the bench to score for Great Olympics. Oh, what I like about this goal, you think it's a simple finish, but he puts it into the roof of the net because the goalkeeper is covering the ground of the, of the goalpost. Had he just stopped it in low, the goalkeeper perhaps makes a save. But Mudasiru knows exactly how he's finishing this. Take a look at this. The run of Max Olave is good enough. Has something little on it. Take a look at the goalkeeper. Across the turf, Mudasiru goes for the roof. If he goes across the turf, maybe there's a save. Adriana kept believing from now on when some Adams he went forward no marking from the great Olympic center backs he squeezed in and he got a goal that kept the Tiana stars believing yeah, they were poor, capable poor poor defending and nobody marking him they should have been the marking but Tom pokes it makes a good run across the, the defender keeps himself favorite to the ball and gets something on it difficult for the goalkeeper to readjust himself because it's that close to him so Nathan got this shot it was tipped by Steven Kwaku and look at Abdul Rahman not a particularly good cross, but it was not dealt with by the Olympic defenders. Then it falls to a J, brilliant bicycle kick. Yeah. A trademark, bright J goal. Oh, it's a beauty. It was a beauty. And like I said, what, what are the moments is there? What do you need an inspiration? What do you need somebody to step up? You count it on your skipper, your captain to step up and make it happen. So that's a crowning moment for Adriana Stars. Where was the marking? What was the goalkeeper doing? Two goals for Sam Adams. Three precious points in the back for Adriana Stars against Great Olympics at their fortress. So Adriana completed a double over Olympics. They beat them 2 1 in Doma. And where was the marking? Where was the goalkeeper? So that's the goal that beats them there. Right there. Wrap up time in Accra. Olympics dominating with possession. 51. Eight shots on goal. Three corners. 14 fouls committed by Adriana. Full time score in Accra. Five goal thriller. Exciting game. Olympics 2, Adriana starts 3 from the Accra Stadium. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. You sounded very confident before kickoff that you're going to win your first three points, away three points today. And uh, what did you see before the game? Mm, you know, you know well, I've been yearning for that. Since I took over the job, it was my, it was my dream to win some away matches. So I've been trying. This is the, I think this is the fifth match in away. I've been losing all the away matches. So this one, we determined to win. We determined, we planned, we strategized. And our tactics worked to perfection. You know, in the first half, we were playing 4-2-3-1. They were dominating play, everything. And we went to recess. I just told them, no, guys, we have to attack. 
you have to play 4-3-3. So you change to 4-3-3 and then you just keep the balls inside the net. Now, Brighter J seem to have gotten a different vibe altogether. Sam also adding up. You seem to have had different attacking styles. Brighter J seem to have gotten a different vibe altogether today. Sam also adding up. You seem to have had a different attack altogether today in the game. Yeah, exactly. You know, Bright is a very good, is a very good striker. He solely is not be banging in the goals. He's a very, very good striker. He can, he can hustle the defenders, bring the ball down, pass everything. I'm just praying one, one day you'll be scoring two, three goals in a match. This means a lot for you going forward in the season. Exactly, exactly. exactly. Well, congratulations and wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you very much. Coach, very disappointing defeat there. How do you uh, describe this one? Uh, seriously, uh, I'm really disappointed like you are saying. Because uh, I'm playing home and I can't take a 2-0 lead. I mean, just to equalize and uh, 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 go down 3-2. It's, it's, it's just, uh, I'm really disappointed and uh, a worried coach at the moment. Mm. You were in control before and uh, it went all out in the second half. What does this mean to you guys going forward? What are you going to tell them to get back? Because these are the games you need to be winning. Seriously, when we went, I uh, know we were on top on the first half. So I always ask them we should still continue with uh, the tempo of the game and there should be more, I mean, focus. But what I realized was... Uh, uh, my players uh, lost concentration and felt we've already won the game and they, uh, they relaxed and these people who were hungry uh, uh, took over the game and have to equalize and, and beat us. Rather unfortunate, we wish you all the best going forward. Thank you. Sam, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Uh, was there any special package for the two goals you scored today? Oh, I would say I will give thanks to the Almighty God because everything God first. And the two goals that I scored, I will give it to the founder of the club, Nana Osea Diayo Nana Ajiman Bedu. I will take this goal to give to Nana. Now, you guys in the first half were down. Uh, only trip, it will be back to Damai Cho. And that's it. It's over. An exciting 5 more thriller. Twice Olympic took the lead, twice the Joanna Stars came back and finally got the winner through this man, Sam Adams, who was on a double on the night. What a performance by Joanna Stars. Uh, a proper game of two halves. Olympics dominated the first and the second. At the start of the second, they got the second. You thought it was game over, but Joanna Stars, credit to them. They did keep themselves in this game and they took the chances that came to them and they made it count. It's been a great game been a great game really it's dominated what did the coach tell you in the dressing room before coming for the second half okay you realize that what we were doing was strong because what the coach told us to come and do we refused to do it but when we went to the second half we, we told ourselves we should come and do the work because it's not easy when you need a point so you want to take the league you have to work hard for the points so that's why we came back and equalized the goals your two goals today means a lot it means you're stepping up in the absence of Yahaya and we should be seeing more of you in the season shouldn't we no, I don't think so. <laughs> more goals to expect from you, I guess. Oh, yeah, I will score more goals. <laughs> all right, congratulations and all the best. Thank you very you. much, sir. Premier League is back again. I say this is our own. Let's cherish our own. Division 1 League is back again. This is our own. Let's cherish our own. Ghana Premier League is back again. This is our own.
this that 